CustomTacticals.com here, and today we're in for a little treat. Um, this one here is the Strider uh, Mix Strider Custom MSC RC, and uh, this is a big folder, um, one of the more expensive Strider folders you can get because it's custom. Um, this one has the grid pattern Nightmare Grind, and this is a big folder. Uh, blade is I think about four, four, four and a quarter inches, something like that. I don't remember exactly. Tritium thumb studs, so they glow in the dark just in case you can't find your knife. Um, texturing, of course, all the way along. Nice big solid titanium backspacer. Grips in the back. Typical Strider pocket clip. And a frame lock, unlike the RCC, which has the two full slabs on both sides. This one has the milled out area for the for the handle slabs there, which is nice. It's a lot heavier than RCC, but it has better balance because the weight is towards the middle of the knife. So when you hold it, you feel a little bit more, like there's a bit more uh, uh, maneuverability with the knife because it's just it just feels that much better. The RCC, on the other hand, feels cheap um, compared to the RC. And uh, I know a lot of Strider fans and Strider collectors always criticize the RC for being a little too light and flimsy feeling. The lock's not, just not beefy enough. It, 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 when you compare an RCC to, say, an AR or GB, which are, which are both liner lock knives, the RCC just doesn't cut it. Um, now, let me talk about the Nightmare Grind a bit here. The Nightmare Grind is, is, is a really cool thing. Um, if you have never seen it, it's basically a, a standard grind with, with a hollow, a high hollow grind cut out of the top of it. And um, some of the some of the nightmare grinds are really crazy looking, but this one here is is a little bit more uh, down to earth, a little bit more acceptable. Um, you won't be pulling this out and scaring anybody. And it's called nightmare grind not because it's supposed to look like a nightmare, but because it's a nightmare to grind apparently, according to Mixstrider. And this is a Mixstrider custom. Um, this is a uh, sterile one, so there's no signature, no Strider, no nothing logo on it, just uh, straight up, but as you can tell, it's obviously a Strider. Um, so, a lot, of, a lot of interesting things going on here with the with the grind, um, the Nightmare, and there's got this little swedge thing here, on t above the, the standard swedge here, and uh, this one here is, is really neat, it's only on one side of the knife, it's sort of a hollowed out section there, I don't know what it's for, um, Maybe take some weight off the blade, maybe just to look cool. Um, either way, I'm happy that it's there. Um, nice job. Uh, I, I do notice one thing with these uh, the Strider Customs, the Dwayne Dwyer and the Mick Strider Customs, is that they are all significantly uh, better fit and finish than uh, than the the um, production stuff. They just they just fit better. They're a little bit they're a little bit tighter here, a little less wobble. Lockup's always a little bit better. They just, they just all overall feel a little bit better. Um, I was reading on the Strider site the other day, even though the SNG and all that stuff, um, they're, they're considered just production knives. Um, Strider calls all, considers all of their own knives uh, uh, custom. So I'm not sure uh, what level of custom, custom hand make, hand work is done is, is, is on, on all the SNGs and ARs and all their fixed blade stuff, but... Uh, I don't think it's nearly to the level that the MSC and DDC, uh, DDC stuff is, because um, uh, the D, the two Mix Strider and Dwayne Dwyer customs that I've had are definitely um, noticeably better than the production stuff from Strider. And uh, the price, at the price that they they ask for these, this uh, retail price on this. This guy here is $1,250, so that's quite a bit of money for a knife. Even for a custom, that's a lot of money. Uh, not a lot of makers out there are charging $1,250 for a knife uh, that's got nothing but titanium, uh, G10, and an S30V blade. Um, usually for that kind of money, you can get Mother of Pearl, Mammoth, Damascus, Makume, something like that. But uh, Strider's the only guys out there that... That sells something like that for the something like this for that kind of money, and um, and it sells. So obviously they're doing something right. I'm not saying that it's worth that kind of money. I'm just saying that they're doing something right. So, uh, but either way, this is a really cool knife. I I love this knife. Um, I think I'm going to keep this one for a very long time, and uh, hope you enjoy the review. Strider MSCRC.